Good day, everybody. Um, I just want to show you a, a fantastic feature of uh, the Office 365, and it also uh, works beyond Office 365 in certain areas. Um, and it really helps if you struggle to read uh, for whatever reason that might be. Um, so I'm going to go into one of my classes. I'm going to go to 7M, Computer Studies. And you can see here that my teacher has actually assigned me something, and there's a bit of reading involved there. Now, it's not a lot of reading on this particular one, but there's some big words in there. Um, if I click here, and then I can you see got all these options, and one of them is Immersive Reader. Uh, so if I click on that, what you'll see is that this particular uh, message that's been sent to me now comes up in bigs on the screen, and it's going to talk me through what Immersive Reader does. So you can see here at the bottom, there's some settings so I can adjust the voice uh, and select the play button so to begin listening to what's being said. If I click up here, I can adjust the text size, the space in the colors and more, uh, and adjust the number of lines uh, to improve my own focus. So let's go through these one by one. If I press play here, you can see that it starts reading to me. If I think that that's too fast, I can come to the settings here and I can slow it down. Or if I think it's too fat, uh, too slow, I can speed it up and make it a little bit faster. I can also change uh, what type of voice is uh, talking to me. Up here at the top right hand corner then, I can go to my text preferences. And here I can say, well, it's a bit too small for me, I want it a bit bigger. Maybe it's that I can't see very well. Um, I can increase spacing or reduce spacing depending on, again, what makes it easier for me to read and change the font to one of these uh, set options here. I'll leave it like that. Uh, it might be, and there's a lot of people who um, are dyslexic, uh, they need particular colored backgrounds on, maybe they need a blue background, so they can press there, it will change the background for them. Uh, and there are more colors as well, so just about everybody should be able to find something that works for them here. If I go on to the next tab up here, you can see it's talking about grammar options now. Now, maybe I'm struggling with English. Um, I'm not sure what nouns are. Uh, I need to find the adjectives in a, in a, in a particular piece of text. Uh, so I can highlight them and I can say, well, I want the adjectives to be highlighted. You can see here that extra is an adjective. It's uh, currently highlighted in green, and I can change that to anything that I want it to be. Maybe I need to be broken down a bit more. You know, instructions is a fairly big word. Uh, if I break that down into syllables, you can see it's now come down to instructions to help me sound it out. And finally, if I look at reading preferences, again, it might be that you struggle to, to, to focus when there's a lot of lines of code on the screen or a lot of lines of uh, words on the screen. If I click line focus here, you can see it focuses in on this one line, or maybe that's a little bit too focused for me. I can bring it out to three lines. This picture dictionary uh, works really well as well. So if I just don't scroll down here, click on a particular word, you know, task. Maybe I don't know what task means. Well, it brings a picture up to show me what task actually means. And you can see there's three pictures there of people doing tasks to give me an idea as to what that means. And obviously that works on a large number of words. Uh, and the final thing uh, is maybe you speak another language um, at first so you can change to any of these languages and it will translate the whole text for you into that language now that i've set that up if i'm just going to come out of here uh, and if i go into view that assignment that's been given there's a lot of reading here what you'll see when you open this up is that this is the immersive reader icon uh, and if you press on that it'll take me back into the immersive reader view And normally it will remember all of my preferences. Right, come back out of there. If I'm in a Word document, so I'll open up this Word document here, there's a lot of text in here. You can see that Immersive Reader is also one of the options in here. If I'm editing it, it's under the View tab. And there you can see it has actually remembered my preferences, now it's gone through and it's remembered that I've got a blue background uh, and that I want to highlight adjectives in green. So I can read that Word document. Um, it's exactly the same in uh, OneNote, if uh, any of your class is using OneNote. So up here on the View tab at the top, you can see Immersive Reader is an option there. And again, it's remembered my blue background. 
the final bit I want to show you, and again, it's uh, just looking at where this is available. If I open up to a website like BBC News, um, Immersive Reader is actually an option if you are using the Microsoft Edge browser. So up here, you can see the Microsoft Edge browser, and it enters into Immersive Reader on this particular website. So this now is the ASDA and Wake Trust Shopping Ban, uh, and I can make it read aloud to me. Again, voice options are up here, uh, just like they were on uh, the other interface. And I've got my reading preferences. I can put line focus on and spread that out a little bit more than what it's at uh, and change all of these things in here. If you are signed in using your school account, all of these settings will sync across everything that you do.